I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a compound strength workout, so we'll be using multiple muscle groups at the same time. What that does is it brings your heart rate up, usually into a low fat burning cardio zone, while you're strength training, building lean muscle, which increases your metabolism over time. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Let's go. Time to warm up. Swing the arms. Move the leg. We have company. He's up. That's Jake. If you haven't met Jake yet, and that is Jake. Bring your heels up and back. You want to get blood flowing to our muscles. Avoid your obstacles, human or otherwise, right? And let's kick out and reach. We have compound moves. So we're going to use multiple muscle groups, combining at least two moves. Let's go side to side in almost all of these exercises. I am using a variety of dumbbells. Now, if you have options, have options around you. If you just have one set of weights, that's okay. If you're just starting out, grab a couple water bottles or cans of soup. Hold something that's gonna create a little resistance against gravity, forward and back. You're gonna get used to holding something in your hand and you will start to feel how working with resistance is really going to increase your level of intensity. Now I'm going to work around Jake here and grab my heavier weights. We are starting with an alternating side lunge to a deadlift. So step to your right. Ready? Side lunge. Come up. Deadlift. Nice flat back. Down and up. Other side. Side lunge. Up. Flat back. Hinge forward. Side to side. Deadlift in the middle of each of the moves. Lower body, not lifting this weight with my upper body. I can go a little heavier here. Yeah, last side lunge probably. Up, down lift. I'm going to get my other side. I can do it, even though we're past the buzzer. Good. Okay, so we have upper body now. Rows and flies. So I'm getting my weight based on the flat, where my Arms are far away from my body. So come down with me, ready? Deadlift down, you gotta pull to the waist, put it down, fly to the side. So nice and tight, wide. Pull back to the hips, out to the side, right at shoulder height, squeezing the shoulder blades and squeezing them there. Coming at them from two different angles. Your lower back needs a break. Go ahead and stand up and then come back down and keep working with us. Good. Okay. Moving on to a side lunge and we're going to add that row into the lunge. So, back to my heavier weight because I can lift heavier with the row. That's where we pull tight. We'll step up to your right first. Ready? Here we go. Over to your row. Come on up, other side. Row. Heart rate should be getting up there. When you're breathing a little heavy. You can talk fine to me. It's a good test. But we're up in that low cardio, fat burning zone. That's where we want to be. So we're getting lots and lots of work on our muscles and getting the cardio effect as well. Burning more calories. You move a lot doing compound work. Try and get my lunge on the other side. <laughs> and row, good. All right, so now we take those flies and combine them with the deadlift. So I'm going back to my medium weight. And your Jake will move at all today. <laughs> Come on down and deadlift. Do your fly, here we go. Hinge down, fly. Now come back up. Drive through the heels, squeeze the glutes. Now, my boy, he must have hurt me. He's 
tired about our exercise at this point. Nice of him to make a little cameo and be nice about it. You can get a little mouthy. Now think about flat back here. Squeeze the shoulder blades, drive through the heels, up and squeeze. You squeeze at the top, work in the glute. The most out of these moves. Finish this one. And up. Good. Okay. I'm going to incorporate the press with that side lunge. So let's put the weight in your right hand. We'll step to your left. Gonna side lunge, pull, row right here. Pull it up. Now press. I'm going heavy here because I'm using one side of the body. So this is what we call a unilateral move. You can usually lift a little heavier. Just one side of the body is working there. And you're gonna feel the core right here. Just a little sort of curl here and your press. Good. All right, let's take it to the other side. Deep breath. Feel the heart? Heart rate, right up there, 120, low end of my cardio. Get ready, out to the other side. Here we go. And then, and press. So, I take 220 minus my age. I use the number 60, I just wanna get used to it. <laughs> it's a year from, year from now, that'll be a reality. And I get 220 minus 60, 160. Multiply that by 0.65 and 0.85. Now that's gonna give me a range. That's my cardio range. So when I'm on the low side of that cardio range, I'm burning the most percentage of fat. So maybe not quite as many calories. Finish this one. If we were maxed out at the top of that range, but the percentage of calories coming from fat are much higher in that lower half of the range. So that's why the low impact work and this compound work really does burn lots of fat. Okay, I'm on to circuit two. Got my heavy weights, I'm gonna squat and stand, rear leg lift. So legs and glutes, ready? Here we go. Like you're sitting in a chair, bring it up and lift. If the squat on the knees is too much, just do these rear leg lifts, okay? It won't be very compound, but you'll stick with us. Move on, do the next compound move. Got this rear leg lift right here, you stick with that alternating. You can throw the squat in, even if it's a little squat, go ahead and do that. Oh, oh did you see that? Yikes, I was pushing my weight in my heels a little too much there, one more. And raise. Excellent. Okay. Going down to my light weights now. I have a front raise. And it's far away from the body. It will get heavy quickly. So we're going to squat. Here we go. Squat and stand. Raise knee up. Squat and stand. Raise knee up. So again, take the squat out. Do the raise and the knee up. Still getting lots of core. Shoulders right here. Stay with that part of the move. Good. And that is it. Good. Right. On to a bicep curl. So I'm gonna pick up my medium weight. I'm keep saying this so that you, if you're working with a number of different weights, kind of know what I'm working with. But if you have one set, just use the one set. I'm gonna balance on one foot. Balance on your right leg, knee up, curl it. We'll split halfway. 20 seconds here, 20 seconds on the other foot. Hold your core, your abs tight, and the elbows in at the waist. That's gonna help with balance. Switch legs. 
Knee up, abs tight. And tap that foot down, or even keep a toe on the ground. Working on developing your balance. It's totally fine. Find what works for you. Just stay with us. And good. On to side raises now. Lighten my weight. We're going to do a squat to a side raise or no squats. Do a rear leg lift here. Okay? Otherwise, come with me. Squat. We'll run all through this workout with balance work. Works on your stabilizers. That's what keeps you upright. This channel's for 40 and beyond. So we really need to be working on our balance and on our core. While we build the muscle, which keeps our metabolism higher than it would be if we weren't doing strength work. One more. All right. <laughs> I hope you feel that. I feel that. Let's go to the other side. You need to hang on to something for balance. Grab onto a wall, a chair. Try and do this if you can. A little lift in the leg. Right there. Elbow stays in right at my waist. That will help with your balance. As soon as that elbow comes away from the body, here you're throwing your balance off. That nice and controlled on the upper body. That's tight. Working. Right, we have a 30 second rest coming. And we're third away through. Six total circuits. There it is. Good. Alright. Take a 30 second rest. Grab some water. Really important to stay hydrated. Your muscles need that hydration to do the work and to heal. Excellent. Okay, light, medium weight. I'm going medium weight. Got an overhead press. Palm is going to face my ear. And I'm going to take the opposite leg forward, one leg back. I'm going to lunge and press. Okay? If you cannot do this lunge right here, press. I want you to do just a little bend and press, or stay right here with the single arm press. Try to stand in that split lunge position with one foot forward, one back, because that's going to work your core and work your balance. Even if you're just doing the press right there, you have to balance with one foot forward and back. Brings in the core. Makes it compound. Good. All right, I'm going to go to the other side. This, this, <laughs> this circuit stuff. I work through my lunges. Don't love them, but they work, so we do them. Ready? Here we go. Lunge it down. Press it up. Go as deep as you feel comfortable. Or just stay with your press, but with the split legs. One side might feel more balanced than the other, too. That is normal. I'm keeping my head forward. Just that is helping with my alignment. So as much as I'd love to turn and look at you right now, I'm going to really focus on getting this lunge work done. And, whoo, shake it 
taking that out. All right, lighter weight. Don't hold my knee hands. Back to the other leg forward. You've got two options. You can do a leg lift here or split it. Down and up. Leg lift, okay? Take it back. Lunge. Step into your front heel lift and back. This is hard. Do your best. You need to take this lunge out. Stay with the lift from right here. Getting that glute. Shoulders up. Squeeze the glute. Feel it. Right, that side's over. Other side. And then we'll leave the lunges behind. Catch your breath. Going in five seconds. Leave your rear leg left or lunge and lift. Here we go. First couple, you're gonna really feel that balance. Work coming in. Let your body, your brain adjust and knows what's going on. You'll probably feel more balanced. I like this position right here. I get to look at my beautiful children up on the wall. One of my clients actually noticed that I changed my pictures. Gabby, right? Oh, that was great. They grow up so fast. And shake that out. All right. Gonna grab one weight. I'll go with medium. I'm gonna put it in my left hand to your right hand. We're gonna twist. Twisting down. Up, stop the weight here. It's called a discus. Here we go. Twist. Way back and up. And stay up top. You want to take the knee bend out. When you twist, I want you to feel it, and then I want you to squeeze your glute right there. If you can crunch down, I want you to try down here. This ab and core work. With me. Last one. And shake it out. Going on to your other side. Finish this round and then we're halfway through this workout. Goes quick, right? When there's no rest. <laughs> Get ready. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Twist it out. Twist. And up. My workouts are not an hour, an hour and a half. I mean, you can find those super long workouts, but you truly, we're, we're resting 15 seconds between moves and 30 seconds between circuits. I'm doing a lot of resting. So, we're getting a lot done in a 40 minute time frame. A couple times a week, a 40 minute workout. Pick a couple 30 minutes if you can. There are 10 and 15 minute workouts on the channel. They're great for a short day, short on time day. I want you to be consistent. It's not about the length of the workout that you do as much as it is about the consistency. Try and do a little movement every day. Try and do strength training at least a couple times a week. All right, moving on to a heavy weight. I'm gonna do a curtsy lunge. So keep the weight in your right hand. We'll curtsy back with your right leg. Once we stand, we're gonna do an oblique lean, okay? Get ready, here we go. So deep, if you can, up, abs tight, lean. Or get back here, feel the glute, bring it in, over, and up. I like this combination. I like curtsies and I like oblique leans because I like what they do. Very effective. Now keeping the weight in your right hand, we're going to do an isolation move here. Now, 
I consider it compound because it's getting your obliques and your core stabilizers. So from here to here, front and back, you're working that while you're working the waistline. So over and up, oblique lean. So really hammering away now, adding more reps on this oblique. Starting to glisten, are you? You glisten on this channel, we don't sweat. Over and up. One more, come on, one more. There we go, good, okay. So both of those on the other side, starting with the curtsy into the oblique. So weight is in your left hand, falling apart here. Well, it's twisting. All right. Left leg back in a curtsy. Ready? Take it back. Here we go. Curtsy down. Bring it up. Reach. Or step back, engage that glute. Step over here and reach. So this engages that glute right there. done them before but if you're new and this is a new move you might feel these tomorrow ready here we go over and up targeting directly on these obliques it's not something that necessarily finds its way into workouts I really like to target obliques abs and core because of the aging factor I want to be upright well into my senior years and to do that, I know I have to work this core. Stabilizing muscles, you need to keep them strong. Excellent, okay. Whew, putting that weight down. I'm going to grab one of my mediums. I'm going to hold this right at my chest. We've got a crunch, so I'm going to bring the knee up. And then we do a rear leg. We will stay on one side. So let's go with your right side first. Crunch it. Crunch. Foot down. Now lift. Heel pushes towards the back. Crunch. Lift. So abs pull them tight. Glute squeeze it tight. Pulling those abs to your spine. So belly button to the spine right there. Suck it in and lift. We're done with 40 seconds on one side. You'll be glad we're done. Very targeted work here. You pull those abs nice and tight. You are getting that lower ab and that belly button area. Pull it tight and lift. Good, all right. Shake it out. We got the other side and we're resting again. Kind of moves quick when you don't have big rests between your moves. Deep breath, five seconds, get ready. Here we go, crunch it, crunch it, lift it. Balance, you notice standing on this one foot, balance while we crunch and lift. Remember that belly button to the spine, I can't say that enough. Really pull it tight right there, make it work. Abs will try and convince other muscles to do the work for them. Focus. One more, we have a rest coming. And good. Take your rest. Hydrate. You feel like you need to wipe off a little bit. Go with that. We are on to some glute work. We're coming down to the mat for the rest of this workout. So, hands and knees, you're gonna start here. You're gonna take one knee off the ground and you're gonna push back with a flexed foot, keeping those hips square. They don't lift. 
or lift, all right? So let's start with your right leg. Ready? Push it back and come in. Flex that foot, push through the heel, and if you keep those hips from moving, and go back to where the glute really crunches right there, you are targeting the glutes and working your abs, a little bit of isometric work on your shoulders. Push it back. Feel it? The key here is hip square. Got to engage that core. I'll show you a little trick. If your wrists get tired, you can use your dumbbells as handles. We're going to the other side. And body weight is coming out of the shoulder. Putting weight into these hands. Push back, flex foot. Then back. Hold your abs tight here. Hold them tight. Working your lower back. Working your core and your glute. Pushing it back. Watch my, lat, my leg. I'm going to straighten my leg and bring it across the other foot. And then I'm going to take it way out to the side. Now I'm going to turn so that I don't hit the wall. Toe here. Tap it out. So way over and out. Now you can move from the waist a little bit here. Feel the oblique crunch. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Oblique. Right there. Core work. Glute work, inner thigh work. <laughs> Trying to work over my waist there. <laughs> Tapping over my waist. You should feel this outer thigh right now. Burning, hopefully. Crunching that glute. And that oblique. Excellent. Now you don't have to keep turning. turning. I'm just trying to avoid hitting my, my fireplace here. Of course, if you're hitting something in your space, position yourself so that you can get this leg to swing out. Tapping behind with a crunch on the, the oblique, it's his side. The side that the toe is going across to is the side of the oblique. It's really crunching there. Right there, crunch and tap. abs, inner thigh, all areas, you like to work. Good. So we're going to add a crunch and a kickback. So back to that original kickback move, but hold their hand on one side, the side that hand stays on the ground, the other leg is up. Opposite arm. I'm going to crunch underneath. Here we go. Crunch it and extend the arm and the leg. Round back. Flat back. Pull the belly button to the spine. Reach and squeeze the glute. And reach. Feel this. Balance. Abs. Glutes, shoulder as you hold that body up on the one arm. So those types of multi-muscle movements, getting that heart rate up. I'm going to switch my dumbbell to the other side so I can have a little handle, but you can have your hand on the ground, that's fine. Take the leg out, reach the arm out, crunch. Pull it. Kick it. Round back, straight back. Keep your eyes looking down if you can. Straight down. Neck stays aligned with the spine. So you're not coming here and looking up as you reach, okay? I want you to keep that head stationary. Put 
protect your neck. You got to rest, and then we have one more circuit. That's it.
should be talking to you right now. This is Rhoda. I'm getting a workout. Yep. Whew, okay. Grabbing my lighter medium weights, I should say. I'm gonna do an alternating press. So I work, we're gonna press across to the opposite ankle. So the leg comes up straight, the weight crosses. So abs tight, cross it. You're gonna feel chest, triceps, working the abs too. Think about pulling that back to the mat. Right there. Keep them tight. And you are almost done. Stay with it. Here we go. Like to hear those beautiful three deep. Sounds? Right there. Yay! Good for you. You did it. Go ahead and kick your legs out. Flex your feet. Reach your hands over your head and really push them up over your head. And let your back come off the mat naturally here. A couple nice deep breaths. And go ahead and bend your knees. Bring your knees to your chest. Wrap your arms around them. Rocking back and forth. Now you might find areas in your lower back where there's tension. There's tension. Find that area. Put a little body weight. Move over any knot you might feel. So that was a compound strength workout with abs and balance throughout. So lower back does feel that. All right, foot up. Deep breaths. Try and relax your leg. It's up in the air. Maybe pull it a little closer as it gets looser. And we have an opportunity for a nice stretch here, so stay with me. If you have longer, more time, you can always go do another stretch on the channel. Bring the knee in, put it down, bring this across. There's a stretch playlist, reach away. So on a day you just want to stretch out or you want to add a longer stretch to your workout, go to the stretch playlist. We've got choices anywhere from 7 minutes up to 20 minutes. Stretching and flexibility is another factor as we age. Other knee in, we need to work on. are worth it. You are worth it. And if you take the time, 10, 15, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever time you have, even a short workout, your hands behind your head, 
Press down on your elbows, get these triceps. Even a short workout can change your day. And do something good for yourself. Somehow I just really, like mentally, your brain knows you've done something good for yourself and it just treats you better for the day. Twist over, a little easier to handle stress. The multiple balls that we tend to have in the air. I mean, we are women after all. Let's go to the other side, twist. Center, reach up and over. So we tend to have multiple balls in the air, right? Other side, kind of a compound life, kind of like our compound exercises. <laughs> when you take care of you, you become better at everything else. All right, so let's take the shoulders, relax, bring an ear towards the shoulder, stretch your neck. I get it. You get so busy, it's very hard to find the time. I don't deny that. I know that. Sometimes you have to set that arm alarm a little earlier. Get up and roll forward. Find that 15 minutes or half an hour after work. And you bring it up. You roll your shoulders. Feel awesome. Thank you for joining me. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you to know that you like the content. Deep breath in. It allows me to keep putting up new content for you every week. So I hope you come back often and have a wonderful day.